All right, hello everyone. My name is Veritas, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny. Now today, we're gonna do a strike, and hopefully, we'll have enough time to talk about a situation that I've been wanting to talk about for a little bit. I keep scrapping the videos I talk about this in, so we're gonna try it uh, now. Uh, essentially, the, the what I wanted to talk about was the strike playlist in Destiny. Uh, the amount of strikes and the strikes, it couldn't have, okay, hang on, it couldn't have spawned me in the ship with the guy who's in here, <laughs> um, anyway, so the strike playlist in Destiny is a little fucked right now, I have a list, um, I'll bring up the list if I can find it without dying, or my computer freezing, that's not good, uh, okay, the video might be fucked now forever, oh no, alright, so, essentially, uh, there are eight strikes in the game. Uh, for PlayStation, there are nine. For Xbox, there are eight. For me, there are eight strikes in the game. Uh, of those eight strikes in the game, there are two that don't give you uh, stuff for your three coins. There are two that only have major bosses, not ultras, which are Omnigal and the Flares. So that leaves you with six. Of those six... There are three that I don't like at all. Um, essentially, there are two that I will not play. Um, I will not play Valis to Arc, and I will not play Ala Cool. I never liked the Ala Cool strike from the beginning. Um, it, it always just seemed it, it seemed like too long and too many steps. It was just too involved. It was boring, and I didn't like it. Um, so I just I stopped playing it once I got all the loot from it. A couple times, I was just like, alright, I'm done with this. It's I can't do this anymore. That strike just takes forever. People never kill the boss. <laughs> like, it's just... Th there's too many steps to that strike with the, the transmatting and then the streaker room and the fucking portal room in between the two of them and the whole lead-up area. It's just way too involved. There's too much shit to go on. And Valis to Arc has been a strike that... A couple of my buddies and I, specifically Cat and I, have hated since Vanilla Destiny. It's it was our least favorite strike in Vanilla, and now we have the choice to never play it again. We're never playing it again. So I I, I commonly leave that one unless I, when I um, load into a strike, it's like halfway through. Then it's then I'll stay sometimes, but otherwise I usually just fucking leave because uh, that strike just sucks. Now. You're saying that you leave Veritas. You don't, uh... I see, remember, you complain about people leaving in the past. You're right, I do complain about people leaving in the past. But that was when there weren't... There were, like, so many more strikes. Like, you, like, you... You uncommonly got the same one twice in a row. Because of how many strikes were in year one. Now, you have just so many strikes that you play over and over and over and over again because there are so few of them. Now, if Bungie decided to say, hey, we're bringing back all of the old strikes just as they were, um, you know, just ramped up to 41 or whatever the playlist is at, and, uh, you know, it, it did something like that, that'd be fine. You know, maybe introduce some strike-specific loot for those guys, and that'd be interesting. But, of the, of the eight strikes available to me, of those that drop exotics from Ultras at the end, of those six, there are two I hate. So, of those four... <laughs> of those four, one of which being the Undying Mind, and you know how that can be. So, the Undying Mind can drop itself many, many times in a row, which causes it to be a strike that is just annoying. And most people do leave the Undying Mind. So half the time, you're soloing the Undying Mind by the very first room. So you usually end up leaving because you're soloing it. So by the time you've gone through the, seven or the eight strikes and gone down to the six strikes... Jesus, and gotten rid of the Undying Mind, and gotten rid of all the ma the Majors, and not the Ultras, and you've gotten rid of the ones that are so obnoxious and boring, you just don't want to play them anymore because of your one or the fact of how they're made. You're left with three strikes. You're left with the Shield Brothers strike, with uh, Tanix, and with Saber 2. So, of all the strikes available to Xbox players, the ones that drop exotics are Valis to Arc, a la cool, the Bond Brothers, Tanix, Saber 2, and the Undying Mind. Of those that aren't vanilla are A la cool, Saber 2, and Bond Brothers. <laughs> just, there's three that aren't were in the first year. 
And technically, Undying Mind was in the first year, but Xbox players got it in Taken King, so I guess I'll consider that one as a year two one just for us. Um, but all in all, you see what I'm getting at, where the strike playlist is a little annoying. Um, and I know that PlayStation players don't even like the uh, Echo Chamber strike because of uh, how obnoxious that is to like play through. And I can't say I didn't know anything about that. I mean, I've seen people play it, but it's like, it, it looks okay. It does seem like the Undying Mind 2.0, though, or like 3.0 even, just because of how, like, involved it is in the boss fight and how just, like, slow it, it takes to kill them. Because a lot of people don't understand that you have to shoot the Undying Mind to kill it, whereas, like, a lot of people didn't understand that you had to shoot Sekrion to kill it. Um, it doesn't really make sense to me that everyone's so focused on the, the, uh, the ads in uh, the Undying Mind fight. Just shoot the boss in the face, it'll die in, like, a minute. It does have a lot of health. I'll, I'll give it that. The Undying Mind does have a shitload of health. Um, it reminds me of a uh, of uh, olden days Valus to Arc when he had so much health it was unnecessary, and then they had to cut him down a little bit. And I kind of hope they do that to the un, uh, the Undying Mind, but you know I, maybe they probably won't because you know Year One never complained about it. But that strike does take forever though, because of how randomized it can be. The first part can take like six minutes the 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 fucking stairway can take like two three minutes and then the big stairway can take like seven minutes like eight minutes on that damn stairway and then you have to fight the boss for 15 minutes i usually end up taking half an hour on that strike alone and then you don't want to play it again so after you get undying mind what damn it after you get undying mind once for the night you're just done playing it for the night because it's fucking boring um which is unfortunate it's unfortunate, definitely. It's it's for a fact. It's unfortunate. So, basically, what I'm getting at is, when I do videos and I try to, or not even when I do videos, when I'm playing Destiny, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, and I'm trying to play the strike playlist. You know what I do? I hate to be the guy, but I sit there and I load it up, and it's like, whether we want it or not. And I'm like, okay, holds down Y button. Um, and if I load it, in, it's like, Omnigol is the last of Crota's generals. I leave. Cause it's stupid. Or, the Dust Palace is open to us once again. It's just like, no, I don't want this. It's bad and no one likes it. No one likes it. Stop it. Stop it, you. Um, it's just, it's so, it sucks. Or whatever the fuck Alakul's opening is. You know, it's just like, it's just, uh, the Dark Blade won't stay among us, whatever. You know, it's just like, sh stop it. You know, just st stop it. It's so annoying. Um, I just, I hate how the strike playlist is. I love this game to death, but I really wish they would fix the strike playlist. Like, you know, adding Omnigal back in is a step in the right direction. It's like the only step in the right direction that doesn't actually complete anything because Omnigal's a major. And like I said in the December update video, unless the hood of, you know, Malak is, you know, dropping from her at rarity, then there's really no reason to have her back in because you can it's easier to farm the grasp of malak pulse rifle and the omnigo bond for warlocks it's easier to do that in the director at level 16 or whatever the director is set to um it's easier to do it in the director than it is to do it on the heroic strike playlist because it's easier to kill her at the beginning in multiple times and you can actually like if you go through the director and you have the right light level you can actually find people that are also farming her and it's faster because she's like level 16 and not 41 um, so it's like, there's no real reason to even play that in the Heroic Strike playlist because it doesn't affect three of coins. So it's just like, that being there is just another strike you have to, you can leave. Because I know people leave the Dust Palace. People leave the Dust Palace strike a lot. Um, because of the fact that it's just, it's three majors and you don't get three of coins from them. Um, but the fact that they drop the cool cloaks makes people stay. A lot of the time people will stay because of the cloaks. Um, that's true. And, uh, that I do like, that people will stay because the cloaks are neat. Um, but, all in all, I don't really know. I, I don't know, I just feel like Bungie's making a mistake with how they're, uh, how they're doing stuff. Trying to kill these brothers. I didn't know you could do that. You can do the same crouching thing with this one again? Oh, this just seems like cheating! No! Oh, death! Why? He got me up against a wall and punched me in the chin. Um, 
You're gonna die, friend. Friend, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, friend. You need to run. You need to skedaddle. You need to alleviate the situation. You need to run, buddy. You need to run. You need to get your friend up there, friendo. Oh, my dearest Jesus in heaven, please let me revive my friend here. Please give me the strength, dear Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. This is ridiculous, you know that, right? <laughs> this, this entire situation is unnecessarily complicated. Ugh. So yeah, my spiel on the strike place is the fact that it just kind of sucks. It, it does. They, they have it built in a way that makes people want to leave more than they want to stay. Um, a lot of people don't like, you know, certain ones, certain this and that. And I actually have written down Valsta Ark, no. Ala Cool, no. Bomb Brothers, Mawul's Maulers, Tanix, the Baron's Ambition. Flares, no. Saber 2, Baron's Ambition. Omnigal, no. Undying Mind, maybe. That's on my notepad for if I get that, I remember if I need it or not. You know, I know I don't need it. It's just so frustrating to, like, play strikes and, and like, just be like, oh, no, half of these suck. Dead. Like, this right here. I've played Bomb Brothers so much. It's, you know, the night falls multiple times over and over and over again. And you know what never happens? The Malu Maulers never drop. They don't drop. It's so fucking frustrating. I don't know how many times I've killed Tanix and Saber post Taken King. You know, how many times I've killed them. And I haven't gotten the Baron's Ambition. Now, the worst part about this is they're not exotic weapons and armor, which means I can't twist fate them. So even if I get the Baron's Ambition, even if I get Malu's Maulers, after all of these months of trying and constantly playing Strike Playlists trying to get it, you know what the worst, the kick in the nuts is about it? Is if they f drop and they have shitty perks, I have to keep looking. I have to keep looking. Like, I want to use the Baron's Ambition, and I want to use the Malu's Maulers, Gauntlets, and Machine Gun as, like, guns on my character and weapons on my, or, um, as armor on my titan and guns on all three of my characters. I want to use them because I like the way they look and I like the way they work. And I can't even get them to drop, which means I'm not going to be able to get them to drop with the right perk. It's like playing the raid every other month one time and praying you get the role you need. It sucks. Um, and like I said, I haven't even gotten them to drop yet. It's not like I've gotten it to drop and I'm just being like, eh, I don't really like the role on this. I think I'm going to play it again. It's like, no, I, I can't even get the fucking thing to drop to begin with. Um, so, yeah, that's it, it frustrating as hell to me. But, um, yeah. Anyway, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a problem with a strike playlist, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If there's a gun or a thing you can't get and you can't seem to get and you really want it bad and... Uh, you know, it, it has pertinence to do with this video. Go ahead and leave a comment and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, very much appreciate it. Until the next video, hopefully we'll have a Baron's Ambition or a Mawul's Maulers with the right rolls on it by then. Maybe, probably not, but maybe. Probably not, but maybe, you know. Have a great day, everyone.